take 100 milligrams of this vitamin during lunch and your blood pressure will decrease by 4.9 over 1.7 millimeters of mercury or more. Your bad cholesterol will decrease by 7.9 milligrams per DL. Your blood antioxidant levels will increase by up to 30%. Your uric acid levels will drop and your creatinine levels will decrease too. Welcome to Double Kidney. If you are new here, my name is Catherine and I've been working with people suffering from kidney problems for almost 10 years now. Today, we are going to see exactly how to use the vitamin with the longest list of health benefits in the world to improve your kidney health. This is a key nutrient and also one of the most powerful antioxidants on earth. But unfortunately, for kidney disease patients, a deficiency in this vitamin is common and dangerous. A mild deficiency causes people to feel tired, weak, and irritable. Severe deficiency called scurvy causes bruising, gum and dental problems, dry hair and skin, and anemia. I'm talking about vitamin C, obviously. And now you may say, Catherine, we're not pirates from the 17th century. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, what are you doing? We are not going to get scurvy. And you are probably right, but also consider this. Most foods rich in vitamin C are forbidden due to their potassium content. This is why many people suffering from kidney disease also have low levels of vitamin C. You may not be risking scurvy if you eat fruits and veggies regularly, but chances are your vitamin C levels is not high enough. This is what a recent study found out. Actually, most nephrologists today recommend to supplement vitamin C daily in addition to a diet high in fruits and vegetables, especially those rich in vitamin C that we are going to see in a moment. But vitamin C supplements also come with a hidden danger, so absolutely watch this video before supplementing this key nutrient. Before that, let's see what happens to your body when you supplement vitamin C. Vitamin C plays a crucial role in wound healing, bone and tooth formation, and heart health. It is also widely known for its function as an antioxidant. It actively improves immune health and protects the kidneys from oxidative stress. Supplementing vitamin C will have results that are immediately visible even in your blood tests. There is another reason why this vitamin could give you an immediate kidney health boost. Vitamin C is the key vitamin when it comes to fighting anemia. Anemia is extremely common in CKD and it's a known cause of kidney damage and even less. Guys, I've shared exactly what to do to avoid these risks linked to anemia in my video up here if you want to know more. And vitamin C can also help lower your blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Again, two crucial factors when it comes to kidney health. One of the less known benefits of supplementing vitamin C, especially in a high dose, it detoxes the kidneys from uric acid. Uric acid is not just a cause of kidney damage, it also causes gout, a painful condition. Question, what are the best food sources of vitamin C in a renal diet? The most well-known source of vitamin C are citrus fruits. All citrus fruits have good levels of vitamin C, but if you want to choose a low potassium option, focus on tangerines, grapefruit, and mandarin oranges. And you can also get vitamin C from strawberries, green, and red bell peppers, Brussels sprouts, and kiwi fruit. These foods are all suitable for a renal diet as they are low enough on potassium. But should avoiding potassium be really a priority for people with kidney disease? Many researchers today are questioning the link between potassium in the diet and potassium in the blood in people with kidney disease. Yes, we may find out sooner than later that prescribing diets revolving around limiting potassium was a mistake. If you want to find out why, 
my video up here has all the answers. What we need to know right now is that, in many cases, these foods are not enough to get the vitamin C you need. Studies say that it will be better to also supplement this key nutrient. Now, before we see the right dosage for this vitamin, let's take a look at a hidden danger linked to supplementing vitamin C. Safety first. Vitamin C comes with a hidden danger. There are two forms of this vitamin on the market mainly. Ascorbic acid and sodium ascorbate. Supplementing this essential nutrient can effectively lower your blood pressure, but only if you are supplementing the right form of it. Sodium ascorbate, the most common form of vitamin C, contains sodium or salt, which is known to increase blood pressure. Supplementing sodium is really a bad decision. So, time to go to your medicine cabinet and double check the label of your vitamin C. If you are taking ascorbic acid, you are safe. If you are taking sodium ascorbate, it may be increasing your blood pressure, especially at high doses. If this is the case, consult your doctor and find a better alternative. Also, even if vitamin C supplements are sold without a prescription, it doesn't mean you don't need one. This is very important, especially if you have kidney disease in the advanced stages or if you are doing dialysis. Vitamin C in large doses may even be dangerous as we have seen, and it may also have some interactions with commonly prescribed medications such as statins or warfarin. And what about vitamin C supplements and kidney stones? If you have a history of calcium oxalate kidney stones, vitamin C supplements may not be a good idea, especially in high doses. People that never had calcium oxalate stones shouldn't worry about this, however. Okay, time to take a look at the right dose for this essential vitamin. Because vitamin C is excreted by the kidney, intake greater than 100 to 200 milligrams a day should be avoided by people with CKD in stage 4 or 5 to avoid oxalosis, which is the accumulation of the metabolic byproduct of ascorbic acid. And guys, many supplements on the market contain 500 milligrams or even 1000 milligrams per single pill. So be very careful with what supplement you are choosing. Actually, you will get most of the benefits this vitamin has to offer already with a dose as low as 100 mg per day. Most multivitamins marketed for kidney disease patients only have 60 mg of vitamin C and that's already enough! Because when it comes to antioxidants, having different sources of antioxidants always beats a higher dose for a single source. And there is one antioxidant that's even more powerful than vitamin C for kidney health. It's the most powerful in the world. Do you want to see it? It's in my video up here and this is all for today. Thank you for watching.